Hello, literary friends. I wanted to, I'm Nicole Legro, and I wanted to share a little bit about read alongs offered through Sunrise Tutoring. So let's first start by discussing what a read along is and why we do it. A read along is essentially a voiceover of a text that we read aloud to you and with you. And why do we do a read along? Well, we do a read along because everyone loves to share a story. No matter how old or how young they are, we all love to share stories. Uh, stories about our own existence and our own experiences and stories we've heard from others and books we've read, poems we've shared, songs we love. And we're gonna focus on books and poems, um, chapter books and poems and short stories, but uh, they really do resonate with everyone because everyone loves to share a story. It also provides an opportunity to read along with the words on the page. And so this video, this read along video is the only video where you will see my face. In all future videos, the only thing you will see will be the text on the page. And you'll be able to imagine the world as it unfurls for you in your mind. So some of the stories we read will have images and illustrations and others will just be text. So sometimes you'll get a little bit of help from the author and or um, and his or her illustrator. Sometimes you're gonna have to do all of that imaginative work on your own. And finally, doing a read along helps to build vocabulary, expand comprehension and develop critical thinking skills that are all essential to be strong, creative writers and readers on your own. How we've set up our read alongs might be slightly different than how you've experienced them through other channels. We will release a new video every Monday through Saturday on the YouTube channel, so daily. There will be an upload of a new chapter or a new poem or a new short story every day, Monday through Saturday on the Sunrise Tutoring YouTube channel. A chapter book or a collection of poems will be curated into a playlist. So you'll be able to go back and revisit that whole book from start to finish on your own time if you like to. Uh, or if you are joining us uh, a few books in, you'll be able to go back and catch up on those readings. And as I said before, each video will include the text and a voiceover of the words on the page. So you won't see me any longer, but you will see the book in front of you. So it will be like you're reading a book on your own. So finally, where do we find all of these books? Uh, we find these books by selecting texts that are appropriate for a reader in the third through eighth grade. Now that is a huge cognitive difference between a third grader and an eighth grader. So when we think about that, what we mean by it's appropriate for a third through eighth grader, it's not necessarily about the vocabulary. And sometimes the vocabulary may be a little more challenging or a little easier depending on the skill level of your reader, but the content is what we're talking about. And the content will be appropriate for readers across this age range. And so it's not as challenging to have scratch words in a read along when someone's sharing that word for you and can sound it out for you. Uh, and usually we understand words that we hear more than words that we see. Um, so we'll work on that skill as we go. But the content of itself would be safe for a third through eighth grader. And all of the works that we're reading are either in the public domain or they are original works shared with the permission of the authors. And so I will always include with our read along videos information on how you can find out more about the author or additional books the author may have written that might be available in the public domain or where you might be able to access the book that we're actually reading so that you can read it on your own again. We ask that you share feedback with us in the comment feature to, and also let us know if there are any additional works that you would suggest for future read-alongs. And if you like our videos, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and visit our webpage and blog to find out more about our programming. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter to engage in reading and writing activities with us. We hope you enjoy our read-alongs. Happy reading.